Hello. Go into setup mode and use the skeleton tool. Symmetry should be set in the tool options for this operation. So any child joint created is mirrored on the opposite side of the x-axis. Turn off symmetry for joints to be created in the middle. Otherwise you will get double joints. Turn back symmetry on again for side joints. Joints are pivot points, so they have to be placed where a body part needs to pivot from. You will find your skeleton joints in the items list. Let's name them properly according to body part. Turn on snapping. Make sure grid is checked. Let's make sure that the parent joints are aligned to the center grid. From the side view, also check if the skeleton is properly located in the center of the mesh. At this point, the skeleton has no influence over the mesh. We have to bind it first. Select a skeleton joint in its corresponding mesh.
For Minecraft characters, binding is rigid and very simple. Part by part binding is ideal to avoid affecting other body parts. After binding, we can now move the hands with the skeleton. Binding is only possible in setup mode. This allows us to keep the original resting position of the rig. Here, all transform values of the joints should be zero. And all animation transforms must be done when setup mode is off. Let's move the legs. Steve's legs look short. 
We need to move up the leg joints later. To make Steve's leg swing better, let's move the lower joints upwards. We only need to edit the joints on one side. The other joints on the opposite side will follow. You heard what I said. Now the legs swing better. This is how Steve is rigged in the game.